Someone on Twitter reached out to us to ask if we had reviewed any of the really cheap air purifiers on AliExpress, and we thought that was a really great idea. So we went on AliExpress and we found this device for $20. It's also available on Temu, but there's no brand behind it. We've searched high and low. It does have the model TC003, and you can get it as low as $7 if you get it as part of a welcome gift. And today we're gonna to be reviewing this device, looking at its air cleaning performance, sound level generation, and energy usage. So keep watching. The first thing I have to say about the design is that it's much smaller than the pictures had me to expect. Now, maybe wherever they took the pictures, they have much smaller furniture, but I did expect the device to be kind of up to here on me. But as you can see, it's a, a, a fairly small device. Maybe you can sit it on a desktop. Uh, and it's and it's really fairly simple in its design. So you can see straight away we have the fan up here. I'm actually going to just open this uh, open this up. As you can see here, the fan is just a traditional uh, 12 volt fan. Nothing special in here. Uh, but here, this is a definite giveaway. This is a standard ionizer that you'll see in many air purifiers. So this is the negative ion generator. Uh, and then obviously the, the control panel. And in the control panel itself, you have high speed and low speed. Um, they're the two options that you have. And obviously the filter is inside the main piece. This is kind of fairly cheap plastic, but I suppose what can we expect at the $20 price point? Now, normally when we do reviews, we look at the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to see if a KDAR lab report exists. As you can probably expect, there wasn't a KDAR lab report for this device. I did search for it, but th there was nothing there. And it makes sense. It's a fairly new device. It's just straight to market. It's unlikely that they'll be willing to pay for labs to test it. So the only way we're going to understand its performance is later on when we do the in-house experiments uh, to see how well it removes particulates from the air. So the filters for this device are actually marketed as H11. And this is different to the H13 that you see with many popular air purifiers. But this isn't actually a bad thing because lower grade HEPA will actually mean there'll be more airflow through the device. So this could actually clean the air quicker than if say they chose to use H13 filters. So it's, it's not actually a bad thing. Now they do mention activated charcoal and the fact that it can remove formaldehyde. But as you can see with this filter, the, the activated charcoal is impregnated fabric and integrated inside the filter. So I'm not going to imagine it's going to be that effective. Now, as we don't have an AHAM KDAR, the only way we're going to be able to evaluate the performance of this device is when we test it in our test room. And we're going to test it in the same test room we've tested over 70 air purifiers. Our room measures 728 cubic feet, and we're going to use two purple air indoor sensors to track how well it removes particulates from incense smoke. Now, as of this year, we've been recording all of our tests. You can watch along with us, and the results are it managed to clean our test room of all PM1 pollutants in 109 minutes, which isn't fast by any measurement, but was a lot faster than I expected, considering that this device is $20. Now, it gets more interesting when we compare it to other similar performing devices. So I looked at some of the devices that we've tested and compared to those that had a similar level of performance. And we've got the Lavoy Core Mini, which is $49.99. That was actually slower, so 113 minutes to clean our test room. The Arrow Eve Mark I, a device that we tested last year, uh, again, $50, $49.99. That took 163 minutes. And the U Utility CR21, this is like a combination fan and an air purifier, that took 131 minutes at $150. And even the Lavoit H128, which again is another smaller device, which is again found for $49, that was quicker at 86 minutes. So comparing to the, the standard air purifier, the cheap, cheap air purifiers that you get on Amazon, it's pretty impressive that this $20 device can, in many cases, outperform them. To be clear, this is still not a great result. 109 minutes means it's unlikely to be useful at cleaning the air in any size room. Unless you live in one of those hobbit houses with you know, a, a size of a room this big, it's gonna take so long to remove the pollutants that it's just not really gonna be useful. Now we can compare that if we look at some of our best performing budget devices and we can see the results compared to this $20 device. So the Winx A230, um, available for $78, cleaned our test room in 35 minutes. The Lavoit Core 300, a five-year-old device at this point, at $84, it's 40 minutes. 
Titronics AP003, our top budget device at $79.95, took 29 minutes. The IKEA Fornic Doug, I'm not sure if I said that right, $69, 65 minutes. So yes, it's better than some of the worst devices we've tested, which is not doesn't say much about them, but it's certainly not a device that competes with some of the even the best budget devices that we've tested. Now I have to make you aware that when our testing was done, the ionizer would have been enabled. So this device doesn't allow you to disable the ionizer. The only way would be for us to disconnect it. And we will probably do that in a future test as we break it down and see what can happen. So this result of 109 minutes wasn't just purely with the mechanical filters that was including with the ionizer. So in future videos, we will look at disconnecting the ionizer and see what happens. The second most important thing when looking at an air purifier is the amount of sound that's generated, which is why that when we review and test all of the air purifiers, we track the level of sound from three feet away at every fan speed. And we did the same for this device and the results were pretty impressive. So at speed one, it was 40.7 decibels and at speed two, it was 47.1 decibels. Now this compares fairly favorably with many of the other devices that performed as well. So Lavoit Core Mini was a little quieter. It's max sound at 44.5 decibels. The Germ Guardian AC4825E, which is a pretty big device, very old at this point, hit 55.6 decibels, but at a similar level of air cleaning performance. The Lavoit H128, a small device from Lavoit, 45.9 decibels. And the Aravive Mark I uh, was a little bit louder at 48.1 decibels. So I'm not saying it's really, really quiet because 47.1 decibels isn't, but please have a listen for yourself to hear it at both fan speeds. Air purifiers will generally have to be left running 24 seven to do a good job in your home. And that's why we test all of our devices at each fan speed to see how much energy is used. Now for this particular device at speed one, it was only 1.5 watts. And at speed two, it was only 3.4 watts, which means it only adds an additional $3.57 to your energy bill every year, which is one of the lowest that we've seen and compares really favorably when we look at other devices that we've tested that perform as well as this device. So the first one we've got is the Lavoit Core Mini, which uses 6.4 watts, which adds an additional $6.73. The Germ Guardian AC4825E, which is a fairly old device, but still sold, used 48.75 watts at its highest fan speed, which is gonna be an additional $51.25 to your bill every year. The Lavoit H128, 9.8 watts, which is an additional $10. The Aravive Mark One was 16.3 watts, which will be another $17 on your bill. It's clear that because they've used a PC fan device that it really is super energy efficient. And one of the other benefits of this device, uh, which there are some, is that you can use a power pack like this to power the device, which means you can use it in situations where you can't access uh, an outlet. So you, you could imagine taking this either in the car or even portable with a battery pack with it, you could have some level of air cleaning power. Now, as you can hear. So yeah, but it's, it, it's interesting that this type of technology, the PC phone case, is slowly making its way into commercial devices. Another thing to consider when running an air purifier is you're gonna to need to replace the filters eventually. And this is where things get a little trickier with this device. So on AliExpress, you can buy the device with filter and then you can buy separate filters. And I was shocked by how expensive the filters were. So the filters were $12.66, whilst the device and a filter is $15. So it means that they're only really valuing the, the device at around $3. They also say that you need to replace the filters every three to six months. And I always take manufacturers, when they say three to six, they really mean three. Or if they say six to 12, they mean six. So we're gonna take it as six. You're gonna replace the filters every three months 
which really adds the cost to around $50.64 just for the filters for one year. I also compared this to other devices we've tested. So for example, the Lavoie Core Mini, you need to replace the filters as often, and that adds an additional $74.91 which brings the total running cost to $81.64 a year. The Germ Guardian will cost you another $54 for the filters, which adds $105 as your total running cost. The Lavoie H128, another small device, uh, the filters will cost you $47.96. I have to make you aware, that's assuming that you change them every six months. That's what Lavoie tells me. I think that's probably rubbish, but I'll have to take it because we're comparing all at the same, which adds the running cost of $58 a year. And the Aravive Mark One, $67 and $96 in filters, which brings the running cost to $85.26. So for this device, the bulk of the running costs is actually on the filters as the energy usage is negligible. Um, so we're looking at $50.64, but a total running cost of $54.21, which is quite high considering its small air cleaning performance. Whilst the energy costs are low for this device, the filters really make it hard to recommend. It's one of the reasons why I recommend to most people to get the biggest device that they can live with, because small devices like this, not just this, but also things like the Lavoie Core Mini, the LVH128, they're small devices, so they need the filters replacing more often. It's very common to find filters need replacing every three months, and the filters can, even if you go generic, they can be still fairly expensive, and these filter costs add up year on year. So when we compare to some of our better performing devices, I think this can be really clear. So the Allen Breathe Smart 45i only has a yearly cost of $105.40. The Win-X5502, a well-liked device by plenty of people, going to cost you $135.70. The Blue Air 211, $117.50. And the Lavoie Vital 200S, $96.82. Now, the running costs are similar in line to these tiny little devices, yet you're going to be getting much better air clean performance with these bigger devices. So it's very hard to say that you should go for any of these small devices. Another point that I wanted to mention is a device like this, as it has no brand name, it's hard to actually find filters unless you go to let direct to AliExpress. So I'd be a little concerned that if this device doesn't sell so well, it may just be forgotten about and you may never be able to find filters for it. So that's just something to be aware of. And one of the reasons why I recommend most people go for brands that have been around a while because the filters are still gonna be available. There's nothing worse than spend a lot of money on a device and then find that you can't get filters 12 months down the line. So is it worth it? Now it might seem obvious to you what I'm going to say, but I think you shouldn't spend $20 at AliExpress or Temu for an air purifier. But surprisingly, it's not because this is a terrible air purifier. As our test shown, it was better than many devices that have been out a long time, like the Lavoie Core Mini, and it did benefit from the fact that it hardly used any energy, which really just goes to show that an air purifier is just a fan and a filter. This is in a plastic, cheap plastic box, but the fact that this can work shows you that you don't need to overthink it. So my advice is to avoid any type of small or what I call mini air purifier. The reality is these devices have one major job, which is just to keep selling you these tiny little filters. Often these filters need to be replaced every three months and the costs are just gonna really add up. So the only thing you're going to end up buying is a device that's just going to keep asking for new filters continually and you're not going to keep a decent sized room clean. It's much better to go for a medium sized device that has much bigger filters that need changing less often. Plus you'll have the benefit that you might be able to run it at lower fan speeds. Okay. Let me know, as always, what you thought about my review in the comments, and maybe you've got this device from AliExpress or Temu. Let me know how you're getting on. 